I see the, the recent slowdown in CMBS activity as a short-term issue. Uh, the factors involved there were, were several. There were tried to market those transactions uh, during July and August, which is a very thin market in terms of CMBS investors. A lot of people go away. Uh, we don't have a very large investor base to begin with, and during those particular months, it's very, very thin. Um, there were three or four transactions in the market at the same time in a very thin market, and I also think that the initial price thoughts on those, those deals didn't take into account those factors, so it was too tight. And then investors, they don't like margins that come out too tight, and when, once things start to widen a little bit, that becomes an avalanche. The CMBS market has had a tough time. Um, we've seen definitely that the liquidity for that AAA bond is very, very thin. Um, so that's really driving the fact that quite a lot of banks have made a loss on this piece now. We don't see that there's actually going to be a massive increase in investors at the AAA level, so we think that this will continue into the new year. Um, and until that's resolved, I can't really see it coming back. It's true that a few CMBS deals have struggled, but it, it's very easy for us in the real estate world to assume that those are problems with CMBS. If you look wider at the ABS markets and indeed at the bond markets, you'll see that a lot of other deals have struggled. So I think it's much more to do with the macro environment, uncertainty around interest rates, uncertainty around China earlier in the year, obviously, which is the thing that initially introduced a lot of problems in CMBS and demand, um, the Eurozone situation in Greece and the particular you know, periodic crisis that we saw uh, in June. So, so I think in, in broad terms, I'm not too worried about CMBS from that perspective. Uh, I think it's much more broader macro conditions that have made it challenging. I think there is a broader, longer term strategic challenge for CMBS and that is the way that the regulatory environment remains um, on a fairly hostile setting towards it. And I don't think that is right, and I don't think it's sensible. And it's part of our job, really, to be trying to educate regulators to adopt a more enlightened and intelligent approach to how they look after real estate debt markets and indeed CMBS. I actually see the, the CMBS uh, stress that, that, that is in the market at the moment as a, as a short-term issue. Uh, I think the, the stress that the, of the deals where it's reported that, that one of the banks made a, a loss and the other bank nearly made a loss or just, just broke even. We're both on loans to real estate that was acquired by, by M7 joint ventures in Germany and the Netherlands. Uh, and I think the interesting part of the, the CMBS market today is the, 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 you know, the interaction between the people buying the paper uh, and the entities such as PIMCO and Inside Investment Management um, and the, the narrow band of capital that is chasing that type of product are also present in the in the loan syndication market. In terms of what's happened in the execution, I think there's been more volatility in the market, which obviously puts pressure on lenders who've who've underwritten to, to tight spreads. Um, but I don't think that this is necessarily signifying an issue with the overall lending market. Indeed, it's just one component of a sort of what is hopefully a changing lender landscape with uh, the retail banks or the, the, the investment banks providing their usual function and then the alternative lenders which we represent coming into the market as well and increasing their share. I think that uh, the beginning of the year, first quarter, I think with the investors having fresh allocations of money to deploy and I think there'll probably be a more positive outlook. You know, Traditionally, first quarter has usually been a, a, a good period of time uh, for CMBS transactions. So I think you know, they'll trade better. I think it'll, the markets will stabilize and they'll bounce back somewhat.